Tuesday, November 19, Old Testament Prophecies of Jesus, Part 1. In a discussion with the religious leaders about his identity, Jesus affirmed the authority of Scripture. At first glance, it would seem unnecessary for him to do that because the religious leaders believed in the Scripture. Nevertheless, even with them, Jesus would emphasize the authority of the Scriptures, and he did so in order to show them who he was, no matter how hard their hearts were, and no matter how much they tried to fight conviction. Meanwhile, John records many direct quotations from and allusions to the Old Testament that point to Jesus as the fulfillment of the Old Testament promise of a Messiah. How are the following New Testament and Old Testament passages linked? That is, how does the New Testament use these texts to bear witness to Jesus? First of all, we'll compare John 1.23 with Isaiah 40, verse 3. John 1.23 John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness, make straight the way for the Lord. And Isaiah 40, verse 3, A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. And then John chapter 2, verses 16 and 17, and we'll compare that with Psalm 69, verse 9. John 2, beginning at verse 16. To those who sold doves, he said, Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. And then Psalm 69, verse 9. For zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who insult you fall on me. And then we have John 7, verse 38, and we'll compare that with Jeremiah 2, 13. John 7, 38. Whoever believes in me, as Scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. And then Jeremiah 2, 13. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. And then we'll compare John 19, verse 36, with Numbers 9, verse 12. John 19 and verse 36. These things happened so that the scripture would be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. And comparing that with Numbers 9, verse 12, they must not leave any of it till morning or break any of its bones. When they celebrate the Passover, they must follow all the regulations. Not just John, but Peter, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and all the New Testament writers, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, time and again, stress how Jesus of Nazareth's life, death, resurrection, and ascension to the throne of God are all fulfilments of the Old Testament prophecies. And although Jesus was continually pointing the disciples to the Scriptures, which foretold his ministry, when did the disciples finally understand that the Scriptures pointed to his death and resurrection? It was only after he died and was resurrected and appeared to them that they finally got it. Therefore, we read in John 2.22, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. And we referred now just also to look at John chapter 20 and verse 9. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. And remember, God is always faithful.